Hi, this is Maria from Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida. Hi everybody, I want to make this video for the new subscribers. They never seen my channel before and they have new desert roses and I know can get confused a plant sometimes. So these are my desert roses. These are three years old. These are about two years old, the ones in a gallon. And I have these ones like 14, 16 months and I have these little babies. Look at these little babies. They are so cute. Look at this. They are um, like eight months old. So when you buy a desert rose in line, like Amazon or doesn't matter where you get it from another country, usually the desert rose is gonna come without roots. Okay? The desert rose is gonna come. Well, let's do this one. Let's do this one. The desert rose is gonna come. Yes. See this one? For them to send you the desert rose home, this is what they have to do, okay? When they send you the desert rose. This is what they have to do. They have to put this in the elephant lady. The elephant lady can use this. Okay. So when you get your desert rose in the mail, usually, looks like this they watch it out real good and what they do they wrap it with cardboard like this and this is how you get it okay so when you get your desert rose some people go oh my goodness i was not expecting this okay not a big deal that's how they had to send it to you to be able to protect the desert rose from breaking this desert rose can be like this for six seven weeks without without soil and it's okay it's totally okay Okay, so when you get it, what are you going to do? Don't cut anything. All you got to do is plant it right there with the white. You see where the white spot is? That's what you're going to plant it, right there. Don't plant it higher. You want, you can plant it a little lower, but never higher, never higher. You can plant a half inch lower or something. Plant it in dry cactus soil or dry compost soil. That's what this plants need compost or cactus soil. Also, when you plant it, uh, you get at this time of the year, if you plant it, the best thing to do, this is compost, okay? You get your compost soil that you're gonna use, okay? And uh, you mix some good, good fertilizer in there, might as well. You plant your plant right now, so why not? So put this there, mix it up good, and when you plant your little baby, make sure the roots are open like this, nice and open, okay? Like this. And you just uh, plant it like this, okay? And just like this. And um, put a little more asmoco there. Okay? Remember, you just got it. So what are you gonna do with this plant Depends what time of the year it is. Like right now, if I was getting this plant at this, this time of the year, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna water it, and I'm gonna put it in my porch. I'm not gonna put it outside, because if I put it outside right now, I just plant it, the plant is gonna get very, very stressed, okay? So you don't wanna do that. So you can collect rainwater from outside and water it. Okay, it's the best thing to do. Collect the rain water in a little bucket or something and water it with the water from running water instead of water from the faucet or even the bottle of water is not good. So the best thing is a steel water or rain water. When you plant it, maybe after a week later, bring it outside and see how it's gonna take the, the heat. If it's in the, in the uh, summer, if it's in the winter, don't worry about it. Just plant it and put a lightly water and put it outside it's in the winter time. But if it's in the summer, you're gonna have to introduce this plant slowly, slowly to the heat. Means you put it outside and you see your baby getting stressed out, you go ahead and put it back in, uh, in, the, in the shade. Wait a week, put it outside again and see what happens. You cannot just put it in the heat because it's gonna die. 
Other thing I need to remind to those new subscribers, the Hedesa Rosas, what type of soil to use? Either capto soil, the best is compost, compost soil for the plants, okay? Because the compost soil has a lot of nutrients, okay? Uh, some people use capto soil, plus use perlite, plus pimas, it's okay. But you want the plant to have a lot of nutrients and healthy, try to use the compost or the capto soil. Okay, that's what you use. Uh, and there you go, there is your little baby. And for the new subscribers, this is how you plant, plant your plants and you get, you get them in the uh, summer. Other thing I need to remind you guys to the new people is when you get little babies like this, they're not supposed to send plants like this small to you. This is a little ceiling. And this ceiling still needs my care. I'm like the mom of this babe, this desert rose, and I grow it from sea. So I need to take the rose as this rose is strong and mature to go to the person they buy it. Like this one is ready. This one is ready. This one is ready. Uh, the ones they have to get bloom before they can sell it. Okay? So if somebody's selling these little babies, it's not good. Because this need a lot of attention still, a lot of care and and for a, a year, at least 14 months to a year. So if somebody send you a desert rose before they bloom, you send it back because the desert rose is not healthy and uh, you, you don't know that much, so you're just gonna maybe kill it. So the desert rose has to be like this ones, this ones over here. These ones are not even ready because they're only 11 months old. These are not ready, believe it or not. These ones are not ready for sale at all. I have to care for them for a, for a, a little more, okay? So make sure when you buy a plant, ask them how old they are and what size they are. If they bloom or they don't, because if they don't bloom, yeah, they're not ready to go to your house. So thank you for watching my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, text me, or send me a message on YouTube. And until next time from Maria's Garden, bye-bye.